What is up, guys? It is Nick. We are back on the Ninja. And so I made the executive decision. So you guys are seeing this video the same day that I am recording it, which is the 25th of July. And so we're going to just be... What on earth did I just do? Just took my character around to Narnia. What am I doing? Um... But I decided I am going to get this character to 58. I think money-wise and maybe usage-wise, it would be smart to get the free 100 million worth item by getting uh, Ninja to 58. Uh, obviously, I need to get my Sorceress to 60, which is going to be something that I am going to focus on heavily. But now... I'm going to try to figure out where I want to farm. My ninja obviously is a lot weaker than my sorceress. And that's not a good thing. But this is one way that I'm going to try to do it. Is with this quest. I won't do the quest in this video. I know it's a long chain of quests. I might do it on my sorceress and show you guys there. But I wanted to mention it here because this video is going to come out earlier. And so... We have all of these combat promotion quests. I know it's a decently long quest, as you can see. Defeat 500 Helms enemies, defeat 500 monsters at Iron Mine, and defeat 300 monsters at Elric Shrine. This is something that I will probably do on both characters. It's going to get me a decent amount of experience, as well as, you know, just give me something to do i guess it's probably something that i'll give it a go on my sorceress and try to show you guys but in this video i wanted to go over awakening stuff as well as attempt to go to sawzins and check it out i really haven't done sawzins on any of my characters for you guys to see i farm sawzins for about two hours on my sorceress in my quest to get her to 56 but i really haven't done much in terms of sawzins so I wanted to go there and check it out, but I don't have a party, and if there's anybody here, they're gonna just, like, I don't know if I can actually, eh, I don't really think I can do this. See, that's the issue, is that I'm just, like, not strong enough to do it, and I don't want to heavy invest in gear for Sawzins, just because I'm not, I probably won't play on this character after I get it to 58. Once I get it to 58, it's 58, and, and that's kind of the end of that. So, I don't really want to do a whole lot with it. And, like, okay, so we get these big groups of enemies. And I do some damage, but I don't do enough. I don't kill things fast enough. So, this isn't conducive for getting experience. My Sorceress is probably strong enough to farm this. I think her AP is, like... 170 or something like that I, th I think she's strong enough to do this but our buddy here is just this is just a rough time for him because like killing enemies at this pace is just not going to be conducive for anything it's not going to get me anywhere it's not going to get me it's not going to get me leveled up it's just not what it's, it's not going to happen doing it like that so, like, I can't do Sawzins on this character, which is probably the best farm for experience for me at this level that's not pirates, probably. And I don't, I definitely can't do pirates. If I can't do this, I can't do pirates. So it puts us into this weird... Okay, I don't want that guy following me. It puts me into this weird area where I just, like, I don't know where to farm. Um, I'll probably wait till tonight when, when, when it's busier and try to find a group and grind it out then on this character. Because that's going to be the best way for me to grind it out on this character is just to find a group and do it that way. Because I am definitely not getting this done solo uh, at Sawzins. But we can do a little bit of something in this video, uh, which is nice. I don't want to pop my 100% buffs because I'm not going to be farming on this character for an hour. Uh, but there's plenty of places for us to go. Probably should go... See, it's hard because it's like, well, we'll underleveled for everything. I'm not underleveled for good old Iron Mines, but the experience that I get from that anymore is not very good. And I feel like a lot of these places 
even though the I mean the recommended AP is correct for a lot of these places but that still doesn't change the fact that I can't kill a lot of this stuff and it's the issue that I have with my ninja right now is that I don't want to invest money into it because I want to invest the money into my sorceress and so then it creates this like it creates like a weird dynamic where I want to get it to 58 but I don't know exactly how to get it to 58 without having to spend money on better gear because my gear is like cheeks I mean plus 15 gear at this point is that that is not good let's be honest that's kind of bad and a plus 14 I mean like everything to the left of like the or to the right of this is good it's just like my AP is just kind of garbage. And, like, I have Duo, Asula's Crimson Eye, I have Try, Asula's Crimson Eye Necklace, I have the Duo Outlaw Ring, which I could probably try to get another Asula's Crimson Eye Ring and get rid of the Outlaw, but, like, I, I, it's not great, like, I understand that my stuff is not, like, top of the top tier, but it's also not, like, hot garbage, and, like, if I get on my Sorceress, she's got, like, 170, she almost has 400 overall gear score, and it's kind of like, oh, this guy is just lacking so far behind with like 50 less attack and attack points. So that's kind of where we are right now on this character. I kind of just have to figure out what the heck I'm doing on it. For the sake of this video, we're going to pop on over. Eh, do we pop over? Let's pop down to... I want to make sure that dude's not coming to kill me. Um, It's hard because... I probably I'm looking forward to doing Elric in my thing but I guess we could start this quest in this video and uh get to work on that kind of kind of wish that uh I kind of like here hold on I was gonna do this so there's these guild there are these party recruitments but it doesn't work you can't join them and the refresh is like broken they're like broken right now you can't I can't join anybody and, like, clearly, obviously, I fit the level requirements that they want. But it's whatever. Give me a moment. We'll go on over to Helms. And I'll see you guys in a hot second. Okay, we're back. And we are over here at Helms. Gonna take a look at um, our skills real quick. I have a bunch of skill points to spend. So we're gonna get some Awakening skills. So, Vengeful Barrier is kind of our basic RB. And so, definitely need to pick that up. We have Majestic Measure. Which, I don't, I don't love those charge attacks like that. So, probably not going to pick that up yet. Uh, flow block jump is interesting. The issue is, is like, these are kind of like easy skills to do. I'm going to grab flash bondage. Seamless is interesting. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up as well. Serpent ascension. That's a really sick skill. So, I'm going to pick up that as well. Sudden decapitation. I'm going to grab that one as well. Uh, Bloodthirst, Katana Shower, gotta pick that up. That's a sweet skill. Have 211 left. Silent Char- I don't, I don't- Some of these aren't that big of a deal. Like, these aren't. I'll grab this. It's only 12 skill points, so we'll grab that up. We'll go over to our main, and we're just gonna pick up the things that I use the most. I'm gonna save the rest of it. So, we're gonna grab Crescent Slash- uh, where is it? Absolute Fox Claw. Uh, Beheading the Dead. And then I want to pick up a Skilled Hunter, Infinite Mastery. Let's see here. It's actually kind of, and it gets kind of expensive. But I think it's worth it. Okay, I'm going to pick up Blade Spin. Grab this. This is the cheap one. This is like three apiece. I want to get this up. Accuracy rate. Okay, I guess I didn't technically... I didn't save a bunch of points for it, but I think that was worth it. Killer chair. Okay, good. Got all that. So we saved 16. And let's see. What did, what did I want to do? I wanted to... Skills? Where was it? 
There was a specific skill. Was it Flash Bondage? I think it was Flash Bondage. Okay, switch my thing back. Help. Okay, maybe not. What was the skill? Now I gotta go back in here. Which skill did I want? There was a s Fatal Wind. No, not Fatal Wind. Oh, where is it? It's not it. It's not that either. Ninja bl Ninjutsu Blade Spin. Yeah, it's Ninjutsu Blade Spin. So we'll put that on. Ninjutsu Blade Spin. There it is. not oh my gosh that thing is like super long holy crap okay let's get into this let's get some farming here at helms and that will wrap this episode up i'll probably do most of this off camera but i don't think i've actually shown me farming helms a whole lot okay that attack is better than i thought and like see i am semi-appropriately leveled for this so we don't get a whole lot of experience from Helms. Like, okay, so hold on. We're at point. Okay, would you just... Oh my gosh. We get like point oh oh eight, which is not good. I'm going to pop... Hold on, I'm going to pop this stuff. And see. Okay, so let's grab some enemies. I like the hill over here better. It's always less contested. And so it's much easier to farm, because obviously... Okay, I say that, and then there's people here. Ooh, you can do that. Okay, I like that. You can do that attack really quick. The RTRB one that I was doing, or RTRLT, that one, you can do it really quick. Okay. Let's just go over here. He didn't even kill all these guys over here. You can do that attack really quick, which is nice. I'm assuming it does less damage than if you charge it up, but that's really nice. I do like this character a lot more awakened now that I'm testing out skills and stuff on it. I do far prefer this to the short sword. This is kind of the gameplay that I expected with the ninja, though I did like my time with the... Um... um what am I trying to say? The one skill that looks like straight rip straight out of an anime. That attack is fun. And I do like that attack. It's good for getting to the next mob quickly. Alright, buddy. You need to die. There we go. This is the one issue that I have always had at Helm's Post is that there's just like too many people. Like, it's it's a good spot. I guess I did move to a crowded server because I was trying to join people. So I should probably get off the crowded server, but that's what I'll do. I'll do that later. We'll, we'll just farm here for a little bit for this video's purposes. And then I'll move off the server if I keep farming, which I don't think I am. It'll probably be a little bit before we get another ninja video. I'll do a ninja video when I finally hit 57. And then when I hit 58 will be the final video, obviously, for this series. But could be. My goal is every week. I mean, I think I have time. I'll look here in a second while it's doing this. Let me go to the calendar. So I believe we have till the 7th which is a, two weeks from yesterday to get there. So I would say like every five days I want to get a level. So I'll try to get on and get like 20% every day, which that sounds like a lot at this point. But if this works out as I planned with this, supposedly this combat promotion gives you a fair amount of experience. I don't actually know because I haven't done it on any of my characters yet, so... We'll see. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this on my Sorceress, too, because I need to get my Sorceress to 60. 
Like, I need to stop lollygagging on my sorceress and actually get her to 60. Okay, what is my character doing? Come here, everybody. Kite up. That attack, wow, that attack is so good. That's like the best attack that I have on this character. It does so much damage. It just absolutely destroys their whole world. I'm just going to end up using... It's regular attacks are kind of bad, but being able to do that attack really makes up for it. Get them all kited up, back up, and use our big attack. There we go. That thing just absolutely slaughters house. The good thing is, is there's this really long line of this, so you can kind of get, kind of get away from people if there's people. It's kind of, it's very easy to get away from them. I don't know how religiously I'm going to turn in the repeatable quest here at Helms. I only got to kill 500 of these. It shouldn't take... I mean, it'll take a little bit, and, but, like, as you can see here, we've been farming for, like, five minutes or so. I've gotten 1%, so, with double XP on, I guess what I could also do is pop my milk tea, give us a little bit extra XP. I like how he's like slows time almost when he's doing an attack. All right, here we go. We got another. We got big clusters up here. It's always hard to exactly tell clusters when they have like these wagons and stuff here because that obviously shrinks the amount of actual cluster there is. That attack, that's, the attack is so long. Switch back into my awakening. I do need to use that skill more. It's a really good skill. Oh, the full charge on that is so good. Let's come over. Actually, let's go to the front here. Get that out there. Actually, I, I gotta transition better than that. I can't just hit Y and transition back. That's really lazy. I gotta do a transition attack back. The main goal here is to get Asula's Crimson Eye Ring, but that proves to be a challenge for me because I don't, I don't ever get Asula's Crimson Eye Ring. It's like a nightmare. I farm this area so much and never get it. It's like atrocious. It's actually a nightmare. Hello, everybody. Can we kite up? I'll use this skill. Why not? Mix it up a little bit there instead of the same one skill. All right, let's go back up here. Kite these mobs up. Hello, everybody. Just come on over here. There we go. Cleared out a decent... So, it's like every 90... It's like every 90 of these is like a... It's like a percent. So, like, when I'm finished with this, I'll get like 6%. Which, eh, it's not good. It's not bad. I'm going to have issues at Elric Shrine, I think, because I couldn't do Elric Shrine in my, in my regular old playthrough, so I'm slightly worried about what's going to happen with that. Because I definitely had struggles with that. Because I had to go kill like 50 enemies there. It took me like 15 minutes to kill 50 enemies. So 
it's gonna take me like hours to kill 300 so we might have to just suck it up and buy a better weapon and stuff on this character or upgrade a weapon on this character i don't want to do it but it might be a must i might not have a choice in order to actually get this character to 58. It's hard. I I don't know if it's going to be efficient. If I have to buy a bunch of stuff and then resell the stuff, I'm going to lose tax. I don't know if it's going to be worth it. I'm going to have to figure it out. I'm going to have to figure it out. I, I want to get it there. I want to get it to 58 because I want the free. But I almost think, you know, farming my... Farming on my sorceress, doing all this stuff, and starting a new character. I want to get, I want to do shy. I want to get a shy up to level 56, so I can do shy awakening when that happens. But, obviously, we gotta get stuff done. We gotta get stuff done before the PS4 beta comes out, so. I'm not entirely sure what we are going to do. If I do decide to call it on the ninja... I will make sure and make a video and tell you guys. So, so you're not just like waiting for this level 58 ninja video that's never coming. Just eat that damage. The good thing is, is these guys at Helms do like absolutely no damage. So I'm not really all that concerned. Yeah, we get a little bit more than... We do get a little bit more than a percent every 90 kills. Killing 500 enemies takes a while. <laughs> A lot longer than I thought it would. But I actually have to find mob density, which is kind of hard. Especially when there's multiple people here. Okay. So let's go quickly over here. Try to get away from this dude. Ah, here we go. Got a couple more packs over here. That attack is so ridiculously OP. Try and kite some more enemies up here. That's not what I wanted. I'm so used to my... I am so used to my sorceress and how I have her set up. I just, like, completely misclicked there. I'm lucky I didn't pull up my map. Back up this hill. We'll kill these guys up here, this little cluster here, and then we'll call it a video. That was weird. Charge that baby up and slam him into the ground. That attack is so good. I do love that attack. Okay. Okay. So let's get out of here, get to a safe spot. Slide, slide our way on down. All right, so like I said, that's gonna do it for this video. I'll uh, figure out what I'm gonna do with the ninja over the next couple of days and uh, go from there. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up getting it to 58 it's just kind of tough i can i guess i can start my little sister's shy playthrough thing uh whatever i'm gonna do with that i have to decide what i want to show with that but i can i can get that thing cooking and so maybe we'll just have three series going on at once uh but like i said i will let you guys know if you see another ninja episode obviously you know we're continuing it if you don't and you see an update video, you know we ended it. That's kind of as simple as that. But, uh, yeah, I, I think what I need to do is just buy better gear. Kind of sucks, but I need to either upgrade or buy better gear. And, I mean, no, not the STID. The, like, as well as what I have now, and I'd have to get it to pry. It's not even that much better at pry. Like, on my main character, I have try stuff. On my sorceress, I have try stuff, which on this character would boost me up like 20, no, like, yeah, like 27, 28, which would be a lot. 
but obviously there aren't any tries for sale. And so that's kind of the, that's kind of the issue in getting me to 58 is I have to do my own tries, and that's just not a whole lot of fun. Um, the one thing that's making me cons really consider not doing it is because if we go to the daily login rewards, wherever that attendance rewards, uh, right here on the 17th day, so in four more days of me logging on, I'm going to get this, right? I know I'm not going to get all 21 because I didn't log on for... Yeah, 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 yeah. We got six days. I'll, I'll get it. Okay, I wanted to make sure I wasn't going to miss that. I was like, oh, no, oh, no. That would have been awful. But yeah, I'm going to get one of these anyway. I'm going to get a free $100 million item right there. So that's the one thing that's really keeping me questionable on whether or not I'm going to finish the Ninja to 58. But yeah, I'll stop blabbling on... You guys let me know what you guys think, if I should continue the ninja or not. Um, obviously, we need to pick up more gear if we're going to continue it, so keep that in mind. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace!